What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video. And today, wow, oh wow, reportedly during one of these test screenings, people actually got up and walked out at the nonsense that they were seeing with the rise of Skywalker. Now again, just so we're clear, just so nobody gets their internet feelings hurt, this is a rumor. It's not being confirmed by anything or anyone it's just for you to understand what other people are hearing. In this case, it is Doomcock, my friend, your friend, all hail Doomcock. Uh, so we're all bounding into comics right now. So let's discuss what we're hearing. New alleged details emerge on Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker screening. New alleged details emerge from a rumored Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker screening with loads of spoilers surrounding Emperor Palpatine. The rumor comes from YouTuber Doomcock, who previously recounted the rumor regarding the disaster of The Rise of Skywalker screening with three different versions of the film, including a Kathleen Kennedy cut, a Bob Iger cut, and a George Lucas cut that would introduce a secret Skywalker. In this new rumor, Doomcock describes a different cut of the film. He describes it as a hybrid between the Kathleen Kennedy cut and the Bob Iger cut, a cut that will more than likely never be seen by the viewing public. Uh, Doomcock details what his source provided him. Uh, the screen, well, uh, I mean, yeah, I can do that, and then we're, I'll, I'll read this, and then I'll play you a clip from Doomcock's video, and then we're going to discuss the beauty of this. The screening opened with Ray running in the woods. Luke was talking to her in her head, training her from beyond the grave, the same way Obi-Wan advised him. Luke tells Ray that the Force is all about instinct. This scene goes on for a while, then Leia appears and informs Rey that her training is almost complete and the time has come for her to face Kylo Ren again. So Rey, Chewbacca, BB-8, Finn, and Poe, and the rest of the munchkins leave, the fine, leave to find Kylo Ren. Doomcock continues, they go to a desert planet looking for him. And lo and behold, Kylo Ren appears as he was looking for Rey as well. So I guess they sensed each other or something. He then details the scene with Rey confronting the TIE fighter in the first trailer uh, in the first trailer occurs. However, instead of just leaping over the ship, Rey uses a lightsaber to cut off one of the wings. After his ship is downed, Kylo emerges from the ship unscathed, and the two have a lightsaber battle. Yada, yada, yada. So instead of reading all this, let's listen to a little bit the key points of what Doomcock talks about. And this is his channel. Now, again, I want to be clear. Uh, it's a rumor. And I want you to go to Doomcock's channel and I want you to watch this entire video. And I would like for you to subscribe to Doomcock. He is currently at 96, I was going to say 96 million, 96,000 subs. He is almost at 100K. Let's make that happen. All hail Doomcock. Okay, so let's listen to this and then we'll talk about it. These are Clodsdales in an effort to take out the Death Star cannons. At this point, a huge space battle takes place and. Get ready for this. This is where the fun ends. The Millennium Falcon gets blown up. Lando, Chewie, C-3PO complete with red eyes, and R2-D2 are all dead. My source then reports that at this point people started to leave the theater, like over half. You could hear them cursing, fuck this, this is shit, to hell with this. Someone at the door was almost begging them to stay. Please return to your seats. The show is almost over. You will not get your gift card if you leave. It was quite a mess. They cut back to the Emperor fighting Rey. He has her beaten when out of nowhere in walks Leia with a blue lightsaber. Then Luke appears along with Yoda. They all fight. The Emperor kills Leia. But in the end, Rey and Kylo Ren, yes, he's back at the end apparently, manage to dispatch the Emperor. Kylo Ren puts down his lightsaber, picks up Leia's lightsaber, and says, I'm sorry, mother. Someone says something along the lines of, you did the right thing when it came time. Luke says, remember the Force will be with Leia always. And Yoda says something like, never really gone they are. And that's when the test screening ended. So that's the account as it was shared with me. I reiterate, I have no idea if this is accurate or not. If this is a hoax or a genuine account, I merely present it for your consideration and amusement and with the sincere hope that Rise of Skywalker will be much better than what is described here. Whoo! Um, you know, and here's the issue right now, and this is the main issue that we're facing as Star Wars fans, is that 
we hear these rumors and based on what we've seen up to this point with the sequel trilogy, they're not that hard to believe. That's the bad part of it. Like, think about it. If people describe to you, I, wa I want you to think about this really quick, okay? If people actually described to you that opening scene with Luke in The Last Jedi and how he threw the lightsaber and walked away, that moment that we waited like two years for, all of the anticipation, and someone said, yeah, Luke just grabs it, throws it over his shoulder, and walks away. And you're going to be like, there's no way that's possible. There's no way that Luke Skywalker, after all of that time that we've waited, all of that buildup, there's no way Luke Skywalker is going to take a lightsaber and throw it over his shoulder and walk away. Well, guess what? That's exactly what happened. So you can say these rumors are nonsensical. You can say that they are, you know, hard to believe. And I'm going to agree with you. But based on what Disney has given us up to this point, it's not that far-fetched. And let me remind you also, the Game of Thrones spoilers. Season 8. Remember, if you read them like I did before you actually saw it play out, you said, no way. There's no way it's this bad. There's no way this could actually happen. Well, it did. And it was even worse when, it, when you saw the execution of it. So it is not that hard to believe, unfortunately, that these are some of the ideas going on with this film. Now, J.J. Abrams is, and I'll probably make another video on this, but J.J. Abrams has actually uh, talked about that they're still not finished with the film. They're still not. We're like a month away now. Are we less than a month? We're really close. And they're still working on the movie. I think we're heading for a major train wreck, everybody. But we'll see. Much like Doomcock just said, I'm going to mirror his thoughts. I hope what we get is much better than this. But it's not looking pretty right now. This is a disaster. A complete and total disaster. And uh, we're just going to continue to monitor it here at Geeks and Gamers. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Share the video. Uh, we definitely appreciate that. Check out geeksandgamers.com. And uh, other than that, you guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. And we will talk to you later. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from geeksandgamers.com. And if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.